Hey guys, so I'm taking a break from the body filler right now. So I got my mask off, which is why you see some of the lines. So I've noticed that my front passenger wheel on this car keeps losing air. So I'm pretty sure that it's either punctured somewhere or it's leaking from the, the bead. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to break your bead at home uh, with a few simple tools. Okay, right, so these are the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a towel, obviously, to wipe up any of the excess soap. Uh, I, I put the wheel on a piece of cardboard because if you're going to break the bead, you're going to probably face it on the face of the rim and you don't want to scuff that all up. Um, so you're going to need a, some soapy water. Uh, I just mix, mix some dish soap and some water into a, a spray bottle, and which is what I'm going to be using to check for the leak. You're going to need a toothbrush because uh, if you break the bead, you know, it's probably the bead is a little dirty, so you're going to clean it with a toothbrush. Uh, you need some 2 by 4s so this is basically what I, I'm going to use. A couple pieces of this and a little piece of this. You're going to have to measure and cut your own size. A rubber mallet if and if you need to whack at the, the tire to break the bead. And ratcheting straps. So I know online some of the videos show you just need a jack. Oh yeah, of course, the jack is also very important, which I'll grab in a bit. But... Um, some people just use ratchet straps and a jack. It doesn't work on these kind of tires. It's just too small, the rim, and the tire width is just too tiny. So it won't just break the bead. I've tried before and it doesn't work. This method here does work. So I'm gonna just go ahead and set, set up on the tripod and show you guys how to do that. But we're gonna do a test to si find out where it's leaking from because this wheel just keeps losing air. So if there's either a puncture somewhere around the outside, which I've checked, there's no nails, so I don't think it is or it's leaking from the bead, which I'm pretty sure it is. All right guys, so first step first is you're gonna basically take the tire and you're gonna look around and you look for some punctures. I already done, I did this, so there isn't any punctures on the outside. You also spray soapy water on the outside to find if there is any like leakage on the outside of the tire. I've done that already as well, so there isn't any. Uh, the, what you would see is if you spray the soapy water on here, you'll see it bubble as the air kind of escapes from that hole. And that means you have to either plug it or patch it if it's on this surface here. But a lot of times wheels just get dirty and the bead around here either gets, uh, I don't know, needs to be realigned again and you need to break it and reseal it and reset it. So um, I'm going to spray some soapy water around here and I'll show you guys if it is actually leaking from the bead. So we can start from either side. The, front of the wheel or the back of the wheel. I'm just starting from the back of the wheel. So you just spray it all along here. And basically, you will be looking for bubbliness. Yeah, so it looks like the bead on this side seems to be fine, but if we're breaking the bead, we're gonna have to do both. Now we're checking the, the front side, some, some soapy water. Aha. So if you notice here, it is really just pooling up here with the bubbles. So I'll bring you guys up close to see. But that is right at the bead. Right here. You notice everywhere else is not really that bubbly. But look at this. So we can wipe it down and watch it bubble up again. You can really see it's escaping. So that... It's escaping from the bead, so this bead is probably dirty and just needs to be reseated. Alright guys, so you notice that I brought the jack out. Um, it'd be good if you had a shop back as well, but first steps, first you want to release all the air from here. So I have this nifty little tool here that takes the little valve stem out. So you need this out because when you pop the bead, the tire just... Need, the air needs to escape somewhere, and this hole is basically where it's going to escape from. Alright, the next step is how to set up these ratchet straps. 
So I'm just gonna disengage all the rat the whole ratchet strap so I'll set it up from scratch and show you guys how to do it. Alright guys, so once you have your ratchet straps, this is all dis disconnected. What you want to do is you're gonna tuck one of these underneath the jack. So like so, right? This end gets fed underneath the tire and gets hooked onto the front bar of the wheel of the jack. So I could just do it loosely right now. Uh, you know, let's just straighten this out. All right, so it goes through here and you're gonna be hooking it on the jack like that. That's on one side. And once you have the wheel on here, it'll, 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 it won't come off, it won't, but you have to keep watching it. It does keep getting loose. On the other side, same thing. You hook it on here. This will feed through here, another spoke. So you're basically having a loop around like so. Um, and then this comes through here like so, and then this end gets fed through the ratchet part. All right, so once you have the ratchet straps set up, um, you put a two by four on the bottom so that you could easily just you can either put on the put the jack on the tire right by the rim, uh, so where it doesn't jack up on the rim, or you put a two x four on the bottom, which supports it, and then um, you could doesn't matter where you jack it is, it's jacking up onto the the two x four. So let me just set this up. And you want a top two x four up on top as well, and then this piece. There you go. See the the bead is broken now. So you go around the whole wheel. And break it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. All right, guys. So if you're lucky, usually both sides of the beads might break at the same time. Um, this one did, so I'm pretty lucky with that. My toothbrush. All right. So how you clean the bead is just go around with the toothbrush and just. Scrub the beat down essentially um, with some soapy water as well. So I would just spray soapy water all in here and then I give it a nice scrub down and then I will wipe the lip as well. Yep, yeah, and once it's all clean, you flip it around, do it on the other side. But before you do that, let's just soap it up. This will act as the tire lubricant. Soap it all up. And then put the stem back and then you inflate it with your air compressor. Or take it to the gas station and inflate, inflate it. Either or works. I've done it at the gas station before when the air was free. But it's no longer free. You have to actually pay to use the air. So. Probably easier to just do it at home if you have an air compressor, or even a small tiny one. So now just inflate it up to the appropriate PSI, so 32 PSI, and then we're going to check for leaks again. And then again with the soapy water.
Usually there shouldn't be any more leaks after it's uh, been reset, but you never know. Yep, that's good. No more leaks. Let's put her over. This side. Now looks pretty good too. So there you go, all fixed. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video on how to reseat your bead. It's a short little breather from basically doing the body work on the car. But if you haven't already guys, please comment, like, and subscribe, and maybe share the video. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.